presentation types, Buyer Tour. The Buyer Tour lets you search and add all of the listings you want your client to view in one place. It includes directions and the option for your client to include ratings and reviews. Select Create New, choose Buyer Tour, and continue. Select your template, and then give your presentation a title. Generally, who this presentation has been prepared for. And then select the MLS data source you'll use. If you belong to one MLS board, you'll just use that one option. If you belong to multiple MLSs, you'll want to select the MLS for the area where the listing is located. If your MLSs overlap, choose the listing source that will have the most data you will need to use. Now we'll choose Create. On this options page, you can add an image for your cover page. And under the Interix Drive Time section, you can add a commute address. This provides your customer with more information about commute times and distance. Next, we'll search for properties. All of the presentations that have search are identical. What's different about buyer tour presentations is that there is no initial search performed when you first arrive on the search screen. It's a map-based search showing you only those properties that will be visible on the map. You can change the map by zooming in or out and use one of the boundary tools like radius, drawing your own custom boundary, or using the school district and attendance zone boundaries. To start doing any of that, add in an area in the search bar. Once you have determined the physical area you are searching, you can also alter the filter options as well. Plug in the parameters of what your client is looking for with pricing, beds and bath, and additional filters like property type and square footage. Filters also allow you to adjust the listing status you are looking for. So you can search for just active properties or active and pending. If you already know the comparables you would like to include, you can copy the MLS listing number, select the MLS radio button, and paste in the number in the search box. Select the search icon, and only that listing or listings will display in your list. Using this method allows you to search for hyper-local options that might not be available in the present search filters. Once you've decided which properties to include, add them by choosing Include All, or hover over the listing image and select the plus icon. Once we've added all of our listings, we'll select Continue at the bottom right of the page. The Listings page is where we can organize the properties we've selected. We can add adjustments if needed, and even include our own remarks about each listing. Editing your remarks for your buyer tour is a great way to add more detail as to why you chose this property for your client to view and let them know if there are any specific features they should be aware of. This is also where you can decide on the order in which you'll take your tour. The map on the right will show you where each of the properties are and the number next to each property shows the order in which you'll visit them. Select change order and then drag and drop your properties into an order that makes sense. Be sure to save your order. Then select Continue at the bottom right of the page. As with every presentation type, the Pages screen is where your presentation will come to life. The pages are what your customer will see to tell the story of all the information we've just entered on the previous screens. When you created the presentation, you were asked to select a template. 
That template dictates the pages and settings you will show to your customer. We'll take the deeper dive on this screen in future videos, but know that you can move these pages around, add more pages from your library, create custom pages that you can use for this in future presentations, and create your own custom templates. One of the things that sets Buyer Tour apart from all the other presentation types are ratings and reviews. We can now preview our presentation in web or PDF format. And let's look at the web format. Here we have our cover page, and next, our listing location map. The map also shows us the directions on the map of which property we will view first. We can select any property from the carousel to dive deeper into the listing details. If we scroll down in the listing details, we'll see the comment section. This section is the area you can edit to add in your own personal remarks. Towards the top of listing details, we also have a direction section that is a live directions option. This will open up Google Maps and show us the directions from where we currently are to this property. We can also select Add Review. Add Review allows us to add ratings and notes. This allows your person to just have their mobile device with them while visiting these properties and still be able to take notes to keep each property separate in their own mind. Additional to this, when your person adds in their notes, you will receive an email letting you know that there's a new review available for your presentation. This allows you to make adjustments on the fly. If you see a comment after the first property that talks about how that property might be a little too small, but everything else is great, and you know the next property is almost identical, although in a different location, you can adjust your tour right then and there by saying, let's skip this next property because it's about the same size, and let's move on to the third property so that we aren't wasting your time. This is also a great way for your client to keep property features separate in their mind by being able to go back and revisit these reviews later. In order to send your presentation, you'll wanna select Send, and enter in the email address. As with all the other presentations, if you are connected to Moxie Engage, your contact list and groups are available to use for sending here as well. Start typing in a name or a group name and select from the drop-down list. If you're sending to a group, each member of the group will receive an individual copy of this email and not see the other member addresses in their inbox. When your person goes to add in their ratings and reviews, they will be requested to confirm their email address. By only allowing people you have emailed this presentation to, to add their own ratings and reviews, it protects you from receiving an abundance of emails in your inbox for anyone else your client might be forwarding this presentation to. We've created our buyer tour and sent it on to our client for them to review.